Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie, and today I'm going to talk about adding third-party repositories to Fedora 24. Now, a couple of days ago, I did a video on my experiences with upgrading Fedora 23 to Fedora 24, and it was all very positive. It was the smoothest upgrade I'd ever done on a Linux system, and I tell you what, it's a, it's a good thing that uh, it did go smoothly because you know what I just this morning I finally decided to upgrade my Lubuntu 14.04 system to Lubuntu 16.04 and right at the tail end for some reason something went wrong it crashed so now I am downloading the new Lubuntu 16.04 ISO file and I'm going to have to burn it to a DVD and uh, do a clean install. But fortunately, I won't lose anything because just yesterday I had done a complete rsync backup of my home directory to my Western Digital MyBook Duo backup device. So that's good, okay? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, also you recall that the other day, I uh, in the other video, now, my main complaint about Fedora is just the fact that there's not a whole lot in the Fedora repositories, right? So, uh, when you do anything with Fedora, you've absolutely, positively got to have third-party repositories installed. And uh, one of my big complaints the other day, too, was just the fact that KDN Live was not in the Fedora repositories, all right? So anyway, uh, let me do this. I should have done this before. I apologize. But anyway, one of the, the yeah, one of the repositories that, you know, pretty much everybody knows about is rpmfusion.org and very popular repository. And I had already had this installed on my Fedora 23 system. And I was very pleasantly surprised that as part of the upgrade process, when I, when I did that, the uh, RPM Fusion for Fedora 23 that I had installed automatically got upgraded to, to uh, Fedora 24. So I was very, very pleasantly surprised about that. And so it's very... Uh, so it, it worked really, really well. But uh, on the other hand, RPM Fusion, it also doesn't have all of the packages that I need. So uh, the one package that I wanted to install that was not an RPM Fusion was KDN Live, right? So I did some research and I found the KDN Live website and I clicked on the downloads okay and clicked on Fedora and it says you can download the latest version from United RPMs I said okay so I went there so I got this it's KDN Live 16.08 clicked on that and that's what it came to right so we've got the repository already for Fedora 25, which isn't even out yet, but I clicked on this, and instead of taking me to that KDN Live package, it took me to this, and I happened to notice, hey, unitedrpms.repo. Well, what that is, is just the configuration file. You click on it, and you'll download it, right? And I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cancel out on that. But uh, anyway, uh, when you do your, when you download that, okay, uh, and actually I had already moved this, so I did, moved it instead of copying it. So I got to go over here into the Etsy yum.repos.d. Okay, so what you're going to do is it's going to download this, wherever it is, oh, there it is, unitedrpms.repo file, right? 
So all you got to do is move that United RPMs.repo file over into this Etsy yum.repos.d directory and you've got a whole new world of extra packages available to you, right? So that's good. That's good. Now, one little catch though. If you were to upgrade your system right now, if you were to do an, uh, if you were to do a DNF upgrade right now, you would break your system because the United RPMs repository has files that have the same names as files as are in the regular Fedora repositories, but they're of newer versions. So if you were to do a DNF upgrade right now, you would break your system because you would be overriding those old those older versions of the packages that are installed with the, the regular Fedora installation. And then the next time you were to do an update of your system, you would not be able to update it properly because the, uh, the updates from Fedora would be looking for packages of a certain version and if those packages are of a newer version, they won't update, right? And so you could end up looking at a broken system in the sense that a lot of those updates when you that come from Fedora are going to be security updates. If you can't install your security updates, your system is hosed. It is broken. So what you want to do is to install the priorities package and that way you will uh, be able to set your priorities and prevent the United RPMs packages from overriding your actual Fedora packages, right? So let's take a look at this. And what I did here is I did a sudo DNF list and just directed the output into a DNF list.txt file, like so. And we can look at that. Actually, let's do this. Let's do grep priorities. DNF list like that and you see there with that we have a yum plugin priorities package so what we want to do is do sudo DNF install yum dash plugin dash priorities like so and install that package right now I'm not going to hit enter because I've already installed this but I uh, just wanted to show you, yeah, that's the command to do it. And then you're going to go into your Etsy yum.repos.d directory. And you're going to look for all these dot repo files that are enabled. Now, a lot of these are disabled, so we're not going to worry about them. But for the ones that are enabled, we're going to go in and we're going to set our proper priorities. So for example, you've got the fedora.repo file right there, which of course is going to be enabled. So we can go into there and we can come up here and we will say priority equals one for this repository section up here, this Fedora repository section, because it is enabled, and you can see that it's enabled equals one. So we'll go into that and we'll put this line priority equals one right there. Now you've also got the Fedora-debug info and Fedora-source, which are both disabled. But regardless, even if those two are disabled, we'll just go ahead and put a priority equals two there. Right? And then we'll save that file. And then we'll come in and we'll do all the others in a similar manner. So uh, so for Fedora dash updates, for example. Oops, sorry about that. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, we'll also go in here and for the this one section that's enabled, we'll put priority equals one. 
and for the two sections that are disabled we'll put priority equals two and it will save that file and then for uh, these others it, yeah well you got like Fedora updates testing uh, Fedora free rawhide we're not going to worry about them because uh, those are disabled okay those are disabled altogether we're not going to worry about editing those files because they don't affect us anyway but uh, here I have RPM Fusion already installed so I can go into uh, for example RPM Fusion uh, free dot repo and again I'm going to put in here in the section that's, that's enabled I'm going to put priority equals three now the higher the priority number the lower the priority okay so what I've done is I've just set this so that it will not overwrite anything that's coming from the official Fedora repositories right and then I got these two down here these two sections which are disabled because they're enabled equals zero I got priority equals four there priority equals four there okay and then I've done the same thing with all of the other RPM Fusion files which are enabled. So uh, like uh, RPM Fusion non free dot repo and RPM Fusion updates repo. You know, I set them for the same thing. You know, uh, priority equals three for the section that's en enabled, priority equals four for the section that's not enabled. And then finally, I did the United RPMs repo over here. And this, of course, is going to be where my KDN live package is. So I came in here, and for this section up here, I put priority equals 5 there for this section that is enabled, and then priority equals 6 for these sections which are not enabled okay and then uh, I've got over here spider oak one that's one of my backup ones there it's not going to overwrite anything but uh, still I just went in here and I put priority equals one there right because that one is enabled so any for any repositories that you have enabled, you do want to have some sort of priority number there. Okay. So now, if I do a DNF upgrade, what you're going to see is nothing to do here. It's skipping 31 packages because it says they're these packages have broken dependencies and you see that all of these packages are coming from United RPMs if I did not have the priority system set up then all these packages would be overriding the official Fedora packages okay and as I said we just don't want that because we'll break our system if we do so so we got that and then uh, once I did that I was able to do my KDN live install and uh, we can see here to grep KDN live DNF list okay there it is so I just did a a sudo DNF install KDN live and I got my KDN live package yay and I tested it out and uh, it works okay right so that's a good thing but uh, anyway we got that now and uh, works great all right so anyway that's uh, pretty much it for the topic of installing third-party repositories on Fedora 24 and uh, in the next video we're going to look at installing KDN Live and a couple little things that uh, we got to deal with when we're doing that all right so anyway I thank you for watching if you like our videos be sure to subscribe and we will catch you next time